It's a me, Mario. Are you ready for the review? Where's Metal Mario? I thought he was in our level. That's so funny. He was right behind me. I taught him how to fly and all. Watch out! <laughs> oh, perhaps not a good idea. Whoa. On the table after a long absence, World of Nintendo Super Mario Series 2-7. How many dashes have I missed lately? Today we have four awesome new figures to look at. Raccoon Mario up front. Iggy Koopa looking at you from over here. Metal Mario back there. And a Hammer Brother over on that side. I always enjoy exploring the world of Nintendo. So let's move on and check out these fine figures. Looks like we begin with Raccoon Mario. For some reason, I thought we already saw a Raccoon Mario, but I think I was getting mixed up with Tanuki Suit Mario and White Tanuki Suit Mario. Funny that we have yet to see just Raccoon Mario. On the back of the card where most of the important information is kept, Raccoon Mario with Leaf Accessory. We have some images detailing this 4-inch figure with 12 points of articulation. Plus, collected them all from Series 2-7. Well, let's jump Mario out of the pack. And Raccoon Mario outside of the pack. On first inspection, looks pretty much as close as we can get to the regular Mario figure with open hands. But with the tail. And a head sculpt with ears. However, his open mouth smile seems to resemble the face of the first series Mario a little more. I'm sure there's some smaller details in there as well. So there's 12 points of articulation in there somewhere, probably in the neck. But not too much because of that giant chin. We've got shoulder articulation, then there's some elbows, there's got to be some wrists in there, probably some Mario hips which are always a little tricky, and some knees, which work pretty well. And back there on that tail, we have some rotation. And of course we have a little leaf accessory. I believe Raccoon Mario, what, was first introduced in Super Mario Bros. 3 way back in the day? To get Mario to fly, you have to run around a little bit to catch some speed, and you should be able to fly for a few good momentary tail flips. And there he goes. And back this way. And then watch out for the camera! Let's move on to the other Mario, the Metal Mario of Series 2-7. I know Metal Mario more from Super Smash Bros. and Mario Kart than I do from just regular Super Mario. Can't really remember if he fits in there somewhere. On the back of the card, Metal Mario with trophy accessory, looks like a gold Mario Kart trophy. 4 inch figure with 11 points of articulation. Pretty much the same thing as Raccoon Mario, but without a tail and closed fists this time. Alright Metal Mario, let's unbox. Metal Mario outside of the pack looking super shiny. I really like how they do some of these enhanced painted figures. As they didn't just spray coat it with silver, they did add a little paint details with the M on his hat and his eyes. Well, I guess that's about it. But it's better than just having him solidly silver. Again, this is the Fist Pump Mario. Much similar to Series 1-1 Mario. And also similar to Gold Mario. Which should be today's comment help, which series did Gold Mario appear? Metal Mario also appeared in the smaller 2.5 inch line. I found this one over at the check stands at Walmart. I spit on Walmart. They often have that scale of World of Nintendo figures available at a pretty good low price. Although the smaller scale figures are not as articulated. Oh no, he's trying to steal your trophy! Oh good, you got it back. So now we just have to figure out which cup of racing is that trophy from. I'm thinking it's gold, although there's a little silver on it. It's a really nice piece. 
good looking trophy and good looking figure for any fan of Metal Mario. Okay, moving on, it's turtle time. Turtle time? Booyakasha! No, Mikey, it's World of Nintendo Turtle Time. Oh, man! So we have a Hammer Brother on set. I'm always a little nervous now of the turtle bad guys after what happened to that Paracoupa Troopa. Full 360 head rotation and a little bit of a hinge too. Oh god. <laughs> it's finally happened. No full 360 head rotation. Hopefully this guy's noggin will stay on tighter. And let's remove from package. And outside of the package with what I believe one of the hardest bad guys to kill, the Hammer Brother with Hammer. I almost kind of wish there was two Hammer Brothers in the pack. There always seems to be two and they always seem to both kick my bum. This is a really nice World of Nintendo figure though of a character we would typically never see in action figure form, so a real nice choice to pick up a Hammer Brother. The detail on the shell looks great. Let's rotate back to the back side again. Just look at that shell. Such a bright green shell with good lines throughout and a really cool helmet too. Well, do we dare test articulation? There should be something on that head and neck. There's rotation there and there is also a hinge but go very easy on it right out of the box. You never know what will happen. We have shoulders, elbows. Dude! <laughs> Please don't throw hammers at us. Is there wrist articulation? There is, and if you notice, only one hand will hold on to the hammer. The other hand is in a closed fist. Articulation in the hips, which always seems to be a little bit hindered in these toys. We've got knees that rotate instead of hinge. So that looks like most of the articulation that I could find with this figure. I'm not really sure how he got his hammer back as there is only one hammer included. But this is another really nice World of Nintendo figure to look for, especially if you're trying to collect all the turtles. I actually could use this one for my collection. Later. Up next we have Series 2-7 Iggy Koopa, one of the seven menacing siblings under Bowser. This figure is really exciting as it opens the door for possibly six more of these guys. And Iggy is looking truly awesome. On the back of the box, Iggy with wand accessory, a 4.75 inch figure with 10 points of articulation. Huh, I would have thought that hair would have had at least 10 points in that by itself. Let's use our own magic wand and get this figure out of the package. Ow! And Iggy outside of the package. Things are looking so diabolical with Iggy here. Love the hair on this turtle. The detail on that back shell is also most impressive. I like the green, I'm detecting a little bit of yellow possibly ingredient and purple around each spike. Iggy is much larger too than I would have expected, although maybe it's just the hair. Bringing back the Hammer Brother, his head stands a bit taller than Iggy's, but Iggy wins the day with that hair. As for the accessory, we have a pretty cool looking wand. Something these Koopas always seem to be doing something with. It doesn't seem like we have really any head rotation, nothing that I want to push. But we do have shoulders, elbows that rotate and are on hinges, wrists, which rotate and are on hinges as well. Although a little tricky to bend. Then we have hips, and it looks like those feet can rotate too. Oh, and I think I see hinges there too. It's funny how sometimes these figures have the articulation, but the articulation doesn't exactly work. It's there, you just have to be careful because sometimes if you force it, sometimes things break. But the look of Iggy is spot on, great glasses, great hair, great face, great figure. How about we go for a bonus round? Since I haven't done these figures in a while, I've seemed to have amassed a few others. This one is from Series 2-5, Lakitu, or is it Lakitu? I always get this guy's name wrong. I just prefer to call this guy a turtle who rides the clouds and throws spinies at ya. On the back of the box with Lakitu with a spiny accessory, 4 inch figure with 5 points of articulation. As for other figures available, I know we looked at Inkling Girl one time, and Bowser Jr. is actually a repeat, just with a different accessory. I have yet to find an Ice Mario, and I did find a Star Mario, but the package was so destroyed, I'm not sure if it's worthy yet. Lucky 2 is here though, let's open up and see if he floats. Mm -hmm. 
Lakitu, outside of the package. Again, I mostly know this as the turtle who throws spinies from the clouds, but he is also common to be seen in Mario Kart starting races and helping you from flying off track. Absolutely a good figure to see in the series. The cloud he sits on is a really lightweight piece of plastic. Nice little smile on it though with the uh, line of plastic with two eyes. Kind of the weirdest display base on this thing. You can remove it. It's just kind of a little circular thing it sits on. I kind of thought it would be fun if you could fit a spiny in there and then drop it with a back button, but no. Then just set back on top. Lakitu has only 5 points of articulation, probably something in that head. He almost looks like the Honey Nut Cheerio Bee. We have shoulders on hinges, but they're fairly limited, and we have wrists as well. So I guess that would be the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 points. And then you could take this spiny ball and place it into his hand. There we go. So definitely a fun figure to hunt for. I never really found this at a normal store. It was at one of those specialty mall toy stores, which you never know what you're going to find. Hey, careful with those spinies. And here are the figures we saw today from World of Nintendo Series 2-7. Unfortunately, only four figures with this series. Although I think the previous series only had three. I almost missed the days where it was five and you got a repaint of Yoshi. But in this situation, each one of these figures is pretty neat. There's a chance for a really cool Raccoon Mario, Metal Mario is so powerful, Hammer Brother looks terrific, and Iggy Koopa, more trouble for the Mario Brothers. Ah! I said stop that! World of Nintendo Series 2-7 arrive on store shelves Spring 2018. They run approximately $12 each. If you are a big fan of the World of Nintendo characters, this is another series to collect, as many of these are really important characters. Each one of these figures sports really good likeliness and pretty good articulation. Unless you don't like getting hit on the head with a hammer, because the Hammer Brother will do that. That's what I have to say about that. It was supposed to be Squirrel Mario, but Shigeru Miyamoto got bit by a squirrel, so he changed it to Raccoon. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please like, share, subscribe. Mario, are you sure this is gonna work? It has to! Little Mario will fly! <laughs>